Today's video is about an accelerator which I've been waiting for for a very long time and massive thank you to the light, well the creator, Stephen, yeah, absolutely amazing, yeah, what he's done, Stephen Leary is awesome and obviously down to the builders which do it and I must give a big shout out to John Hertel Chucky because again, without him there's no way I'd have one to play with and these are amazing. So what is not technically open source, but uh, affordable 060 accelerator board. Ready for the lovely Amiga 1200. And the Amiga 1200 this is going was also, the motherboard was made by John Hertel himself as well. And it's in a clear case. Let's have a look. And here is the 1200. Not really able to get it all in shot. Let's have a go. As you can see underneath, bright white board and obviously the good old 1260 which as you can see, feel it does kick off some heat once it's going. But yeah, so big thank you to John Hertel for letting me go on the list and also Stephen Leary for making one hell of a hobby to be used for the community. It is a definite brilliant card. And I've had like the blizzards and everything else. And yes, this is perfect. And literally for the cost price of this is just perfect. So yeah, and I can't beat the lovely white, which literally sparkles with all the LEDs that John puts on, which is absolutely brilliant. And <clears throat> on the back, we have VGA and S video. And literally all the other ports are just as is, with no issues. And yeah, and the lovely badge. Yeah, which again, John got me in touch with the great guy on Facebook, What Does It? And literally made the Re Amiga A1200 slash 060. And yeah, it is literally lovely. So I'll change the... SD hard drive because it's a bit naff, don't know why. That could be one of the ones I've not really used properly, so that can go. Obviously, I've got the Bifrost to configure at some point to be a bit more funky. And yeah, I think it is really nice. And obviously, in a future video, I'll look at trying to fathom <laughs> how to set up screen capture so I can do a side by side comparison with this and my vampire 1200 and you can see the difference because there's certain things the vampire can do that our 60s can't but when it comes to games or demos mm, this should beat it hands down with how it reacts because of quirks and the custom chips and everything else and that's obviously to cater for but i have all the vampires as well as so apart from the 500 i've got 600 1200 V4, so but I've got literally the O30 TF in my CD32, now a TF1260 in here, and hopefully more TFs in the future. So, thank you again, John and Stephen, for your amazing work, and I will enjoy it lots. All right, let's upgrade the ROMs in the clear TF1260 Re Amiga with obviously a better hard drive because it was playing up on the previous bits so same one but that one's dicky so we'll swap it out Mm. 
to the pig. Take the cable off and move it to the side. Move it to the side. Out the way. I'll try and put him back on at some point because it's just bending the pen and causing grief for the extra bit of power it needs. So anyway, so this is the one, but it's misbehaving. So, so yeah, so it's one of those, exactly the same, but it's misbehaving. So whether it's the cable or something else, I have no idea. But let's swap it all over. in all the chips. As you can see, I've just put another little SD extension in there and just put it through the 23 ports. I've got no RF shield on there to literally just freeze of use of changing software, etc. So, obviously, good old 1260. So, let's try and get the keyboard and that path little thing back in. So, where is he? Where's our it again. Alright. So he's as tight as anything. So he wants to come round here. Otherwise he gets in the way. He wants to go on that end so it's gonna be a pig. Right, let's get this in. And I've got to fathom that without banging the camera several thousand times trying to do it. This is gonna be fun. Because he goes right down there. What a pig. Right. Um, without all the other connectors falling off. Can I get that in there as a bit of a jiggery pokery? No, going to be a bit of a pig. back together with that dangling out the back all because really because of all the other cables it's such a nightmare to get in and out so literally ROMs changed hard drive adapter changed 
because I'm assuming it must be the RDE cable must have a break in it because it's just picky when it feels like it. Obviously got the extra power connector back onto the clock port. TF1260 is still in there. New ROMs, so now it's just literally a case of instead of using the coffin install which is on here, get rid of that and write another card similar to my 1200 or 30, but put some other demos on there which are 060 based and boot it up and see how it goes. I hope you like this video and I'm sure I've not done the 060 justice, but if you would like to like, subscribe, please leave comments about any demos or etc you would like to see the 1260 run. It's obviously only a Rev 4 I think, but with FPU and MMU so obviously it can run the demos but only up to 62 megahertz. And yes, I would like to sort of put anything together that you would like to see it do. Okay, enjoy. And I've done a little video at the end just of the side-by-side -side of Metro Police against the Vampire 1200. And the only difference will be is that's running on RTG, so it's ever so slightly smoother. But you'll see there is no issue speed-wise whatsoever.